that stand for that cool talk? students and the school as well. But we must 
we must all uh, you know count our blessings the way it is because our school and our children they have been so resilient in those difficult times whether it is online or offline they have been there for classes every day at 7:30 in the morning they come from their beds and were there in the call of your classes or one of your classes or in group work team they have been there and they are actively involved in their learning and the same with the parents you know i understand that how difficult it is for parents when children are at home and doing online classes and teachers are not there to support them one on one and you are taking on the role of a teacher or a facilitator at your home homes and that is that is a great uh, that that's great support that we receive from all the parents thank you parents for being so supportive in this journey i know that you know, there are a lot of issues which uh, which all in all came out of the bandwidth issues internet issues and there were global issues and we we came through all that and we are so happy to be here today after two years one month physically on campus being able to see what children bring and these students you know, have been seeing them for the last uh, four weeks when they started coming to school and the amount of work they did and uh, the kind of passion they have for what they are doing is something really remarkable this particular batch is the first batch of pyt for me and that's that's historical for us because we when we moved into pyt 3 years back we emphasize this movement in a way we have our first batch graduating like the same way that we did for iit diploma as well i mean seven years back now this batch is going to create history for school and what you see here is the culmination of their pyt journey pyt journey normally encompasses five years for them it's three years but what you see here today is not about the subject knowledge that they have which is there and which you keep seeing their performances and assessments and everything what you are going to see is the skills that they develop over the years whether it is their critical thinking skills or their research skills or the confidence that they develop to pursue the passion the topic of their passion which they pick up you will see students talking about vaccines students talking about mental health students talking about the passion of ice skating or someone talking about tourism economy it's all it's all student led at no point teachers suggested them a topic they asked them to choose the way any topic on this earth and just choose one topic that you are interested in do your research and present your understanding that's what they did so when you go around it's not about the depth or the, the knowledge of the subject it's about what they did in terms of their research the kind of passion that they have and when they speak you will understand because last three days i've been going around when they're doing these exhibition presentations to rest of the school the passion that they have for what they did that sense of belonging of their work is something really remarkable and that is something that you're going to witness today and i commend the students you know for their resilience over the past Three years of this online, two and a half years of online learning, and in the past one month, with a little bit of time that they had, whatever they have created, uh, I'm sure that you'll appreciate the work that they have done. And uh, Miss Kona will explain further about the PYP journey and how it happens. But before we go into the exhibition, I would like to sincerely thank all parents once again for all your support during this challenging time. And as they move into their middle school. that graduation will be on 7th of uh, 7th of may the oh, twenty have graduation but this marks the uh, culmination of the pyp journey this exhibition the one additional unit that we'll be doing for the next month it also includes their transition program into middle school so there is more happening preparing them for middle school that's what we'll be doing but today is a your day and your children's day to celebrate their learning with us thank you
teachers, parents, this is what we want in our school. Um, so our aspirations as teachers is always to give the students the kind of rigor and experiences that would bring their learning to real action. That would give them the dispositions required to work collaboratively. That is real life living, right? The exhibition is one such process that the students go through in their final year in junior school. There are many important parts of the exhibition. They, the, the, these processes help children grow more and more independent and better at teamwork. I think that the most important part of this process uh, was choosing their topic, being independent and learning how to make an interactive presentation. It all started with students identifying what they are passionate about, finding the opportunities that this can lead, lend uh, for them to explore more. Um, students face critiques and appraisals from their peers, from their teachers, mentors, parents, so that their thinking gets refined, their thinking gets challenged, and they work they work beyond their comfort level. You agree? <laughs> and extended their learning, of course. They became more aware of their strengths and weaknesses and developed resilience, as Mr. Arvind said, and we all agree that and can agree to that. Um, with school being in blended learning mode, um, there were more challenges uh, than we ever imagined. A carefully navigated plan ensured that the students could delve into their inquiries and reach to the point where they are today. I would like to thank Ms. Marcella and Mr. Bobby to be a continuous support for their students and for working above and beyond what they're expected to do to make their students more independent, more responsible, and enjoy the learning. That is the key. It wasn't always fun, for sure. There were days of disappointments and failures, but these teachers made sure that uh, the students bounced back and uh, make their journey forward. I would also like to thank all the senior school teachers who have, and the junior school teachers who have devoted their time um, to help the students in this journey. Parents, you have been amazing support to your students, to your children, thank you. I would like to congratulate each student for their PYP journey. Today, while enjoying this exhibition, let's not just look at the end Let's celebrate the journey that they took amidst different kinds of challenges. Let's celebrate their effort, big effort and small effort too. Uh, because these efforts is what uh, that makes them a better learner, a better human being. A big round of applause for these children. <laughs>
Of course, look around the classroom. You can see brainstorming here, timetables there, all over the all over this area. And the presentations are in this room and of course across the way. Welcome to COVID. It has to be over there also. Okay. So that. So I thank you again. I'm sure Mr. Bobby thanks you. And enjoy what you see. It's your child's work. Students' mentality to to bond with the teacher so fast, and then I would so then I would like to either teach my teach piano to my father or mother, and then I interview my father or my mother before and after, and I'll probably do that all in the weekend. I think I'll make my action. What is pink again? Pink Benefits. In what sense benefits from gaming? Because like I remember I mentioned uh, I think when I was in day four or three, that I found out that uh, games like uh, shooting games can actually improve your reaction speed and strategy games can improve your uh, okay. yeah. So how are you connecting it to a drill? A drill what's yours? Yeah. No, but that's your passion. Go down deeper.
also look at other people in this place as well. And you can see our whole journey in our exhibition. Okay, just, yes, in one minute you'll go off. Um, uh, so you're, of course you're going to go see your own child. <laughs> and please look at a few others, okay? So I said, I said they're in this room and the room just across. Now, if you have to leave in 15 minutes, you're more than welcome to leave. You don't have to spend two hours here. That's not the purpose, okay? But it just gives us time to. And actually, we have uh, great ones coming this afternoon. Okay, so welcome, enjoy, thank you. Thank you. 
Okay. So what is the the result say? So this one it says like for example RNA vaccine tells mm -hmm. us how to beat the virus, mm -hmm. and the virus also features like the immune system how to fight the immune response. Mm -hmm. Okay. And which like how to side effects because sometimes you get people like. Mm -hmm. Like so this the coron the virus. <laughs> this one, this one is the antigen. Okay. This is the antibody. Oh, so oh, how is it? So how is it? Show is it? Us? Thank you. So, so this is the virus. So this is the virus. This you can see the spikes and that's antigen. <laughs> And then the antibodies, like black dots, and then they like. And then they kill the So, yeah, so what happens, happens the when the antibodies go there? It's put there. What happens? Oh, it starts to what did you enjoy the most in this whole process? What was the most most enjoyable part this year? The survey? Yeah. And yours was one of the most tricky topics at real. So you've done a very good job. <laughs> well done. Okay, thank you. Okay, question. This is your brochure. Thank you, Edra. Thank you. Thank you. Can I keep one of your questions? Thank you. <laughs> I'll put it in my office. Hi. 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 Can you explain this to me? Okay. So, I think it's so weird. And at soccer, you know, there are lots of injuries, right? So, we work on to injuries. And in injuries, we try and we go to preventing injuries because we want to avoid injuries. Yeah, you don't want to avoid injuries. So we prevent it. And we go to a central idea. What is a central idea? The central idea is the main topic of this whole thing. And our central idea is prevention over injuries. Okay, now we go to our key concept questions. What are key concept questions? Key concept questions are basically the questions we take from the central idea. Now, our first question is, what common injuries happen when exercising? Answer number one are ankle sprains. Ankle sprains are basically just when one of your ligaments or bones on your ankle is hurt or injured. And our second answer is soreness. Soreness is the most common injury. It happens when your muscles are tired from exercise. But that's okay because it kills in about one day. Yeah. Now we 
go to our second question. How can we change the way we exercise to prevent injuries? Answer number four is warm up and cool down. You must always warm up and cool down so you can get your muscles ready for the exercise and it won't be a shock. Okay, and our second question, uh, second answer is easier exercise. What do we mean by easier exercise is when you do 10 push-ups every day, for example, try to increase it by one, not by like 10, 20, or 30. Take it slowly and just take it by one. Yeah, take it easy. Yes. Our third question is what is our responsibility to not get injured? Our first answer is have a good balanced diet. Now, what do you mean by having a good balanced diet? You must get uh, eat fruits and vegetables, and you must also get uh, energy, protein, protein. Yeah, and nutrients all the time. You guys can eat junk food, but not too much. Maybe one of them, not too much. And our second answer is get proper rest. Now, you must get proper rest so that your muscles will get the energy. Yeah, yeah that's also why you need to sleep 8 hours a day. Yes. Now, we go to our UNSDG. What is a UNSDG? A UNSDG is basically like goals, but for the world. And we choose good health and well-being. Now, we choose good health and well-being because we want people to prevent injuries so they can have a good health. Now, we go to our informational report. What is an informational report? An informational, now, an informational report is a whole report, an essay, of our, uh, all these findings from research. Now, this is our bibliography. Uh, bibliography is the sites and the links that we found the research from. Now we go to our interviews. Interview. We interviewed Mr. Mario and Ms. Is. For Mr. Mario, he told us about kinesio tape and yoga. For Ms. Is, she told us about rest and warming up. Thank you for listening. Thank you. I think this is your time. I think this is your time. I think this is
Hebat nih dari kemarin. Orang ada orang tanya